In exercise number six, you will see how making changes to an iMachining operation has an effect on the technology wizard. These include changes to the tool, the milling levels, and the machine and material database definitions. This exercise also demonstrates utilizing the material boundary feature for geometry definitions and the efficiency slider for morphing spiral controls. The remaining advanced iMachining 2D features and controls are covered in exercise number 7. Perform step 1 by loading the solid cam part used in this exercise. Simply click on the file name exercise6.prz. If SolidWorks is not already opened, SolidWorks, SolidCam, and the cam part will launch automatically. Note that a milling cam part has already been created for this exercise. The CNC machine controller, coordinate system, stock model, and target models are defined. The machine and work material definitions for the iMachining data are also selected. For the purpose of this exercise, there are two target models defined. If you double-click the target subheader to display the model dialog box, you will see that there are two solids. Solid 1, shown in purple, represents the original outside shape. Solid 2, now shown in purple, represents the final outside shape after an engineering group's change. Click Cancel to exit the model dialog box. There is also a cylindrical hole that has already been machined prior to this CAM project. The through hole is only 4 mm larger in diameter than the pre-cut area. In some cases, like these two examples, a material boundary can be used to define the machining geometry. Next, if you double-click the tool header to display the part tool table dialog box, you will also see that a few tools are defined. There is a 16 mm end mill and a 12.5 mm end mill used to perform the rough and finish machining of the outside shape and through hole. There is also a 5.5 mm drill used to perform drilling of the holes through the ledges. During this exercise, a bull nose mill will be defined to perform machining of the ledges and pocket, both having a floor radius. For the purpose of this exercise, the tool parameters are defined to achieve the best possible ACPs when using iMachining 2D. Click OK to close the Part Tool Table dialog box. Lastly, enable the Advanced Cutting Condition option for the iMachining Technology Wizard. In the SolidCam Manager, double-click the Settings subheader. When the Part Settings dialog box is displayed, switch to the iMachining page. In the Technology Wizard area, Enable the Advanced Cutting Condition checkbox. This option enables you to modify cutting conditions parameters on the Technology Wizard page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. Note that the option will only be activated for this CAM project. Without having a CAM part opened, you can also enable the Advanced Cutting Condition globally on the iMachining page of the SolidCAM settings. Exercise 7 will also use the Advanced Cutting Condition option. Click OK to save the part settings and close the dialog box. At this stage, step 1 is complete and the cam part is loaded.